I am finally done with this awesome new feature I want to show you. I call it the metagame builder. So one of the most requested features I have gotten is the ability to see what decks you can build with your collection. Now this introduces a couple of problems I want to talk about first. First off, it is expensive. And let me tell you what I mean about that. The SQL query for performing a search where you look up hundreds of thousands of decks and compare your whole collection, which compromises of thousands of cards, compare each of these deck lists to your collection. The cost and resources you have to use on the server to perform this search is huge. So making something like this would slow down our site immensely. The experience would be quite bad because this takes a while. And remember that we are a free site and we want to stay free. So implementing something like this and still having good server performance for thousands of users is quite challenging. So we have discussed a little bit back and forth on how we could do this. One of the things we have thought a little bit about is doing something we see other sites do like Goldfish where they put something like this behind a premium payment. This is something that might come in the future, but right now we have a good free alternative that I want to talk a little bit about. The second challenge with this is, yes, I understand that you want to find decks you can build with your collection, but do you really want to build that deck? Not only is it a waste of resources for us to search through all decks on Etherhub, because there are a lot of jank and crap you probably don't want to build at all. Yes, of course, we have decks from content creators that have put a lot of thought of and effort into their deck building. But most decks on Etherhub is just creations that people have created for fun. And seeing that public is the default mode when you create a deck means that there will be a lot of jank. Not only is this wasted resources to look through for our server, it might be a challenge to present a relevant deck to the user. So what I offer now with this cool new metagame builder feature in the MTG Assistant extension is to browse through all the metagame groups from our metagame section. We have had a metagame overview for a long time. This has only been a list of the top groups of the metagame, like the top 20 to 40 decks in each category, in each format. What we are doing now is downloading all the groups. And the good thing here is that all of these decks have proven themselves with over a 55% win rate, over 70 games in standard best of one. The number of rounds varies from format to format here and are adjusted accordingly based on time and how many users we have that send in all of these decks. But the deck we choose to feature in each of these groups are the deck with the highest win rate. You can still browse through the other decks too on the website, which we'll link to from the assistant. So take a look on this new metagame builder page. This is available inside of the game extension and on the desktop app. But if this is the first time you install MTG Assistant, you have to open the game so our extension can read all your cards. As you can see here, you will be presented with a list of all the decks in all the formats you can build. We will have a percentage number at the side of each of them that represents how well represented this deck is in the current metagame for that format. So let's start at looking on standard best of one. Now I can see that I can already build quite a few of the decks in the standard best of one meta, but I do see that the decks I can build it's not the top tier decks by looking at the percentage. So I have added some interesting filters here. By default, it sorts by the amount of required wildcards. So you can see that all the decks I can build appears on the top and it says I own all the cards. Scrolling down, I'll see the ones that I am closest to being able to build. And as I go down, it gets more and more expensive. So I have several choices for the uh, filters here. First of all, I can show the most play decks or the top meta game. So this is just a cutoff of the percentages. If I click most played, it will, it will only show decks that are over 0.5% of the meta. If I click the top meta button, it will only show the decks that are over or 1% and over the current meta. And as you can see, this is not a lot of decks, but this is a great option to see what's most played and if you can build them. Another thing you can do is sorting by the meta percentage. So let me go back to most played. So we have several decks here and we are going to sort by the meta percentage. This will automatically put the top metagame deck 
on the top and go down and you can still see how many cards you are missing here. And we also provide a wildcard counter in the top right, making it quite easy to see if you can build that deck or not. A little thing I added is that scrolling still keeps the list on top, so you have access to the filters and you have access to how many wildcards you need. And we have filters for each format. I can go into Historic, I can go into Brawl. There are separate sections for Historic Best of One and Traditional Historic, which are all decks from MTG Arena. And then we have the Historic Events and Standard Events. These are deck lists from competitions. And clicking on one of these opens the Etherhub webpage, where you can see which tourney this was played in. And you also have links to other deck variations. Very useful. The same thing on the MTG ADEX. Only there it's not played in an event, so instead you have the win rate and the total games instead, making it quite easy to see if the deck is proven or not. Like you can see that even if a deck has a high win rate, it might not have a lot of wins and losses. And all of these numbers we are actively adjusting and improving, but the data here is quite relevant and it is automatically updated all the time. As you might or might not know, on Etherhub we don't only list these groupings, that makes it very helpful to see what decks are the most popular in the metagame, but we also list every deck that is fetched from the MTG Assistant directly as they come in. If you go to the meta hub and go to the latest MTG decks, you can see that this is updated all the time, live as the users post their results, and this is all automatic, done by our bots and API. So you can trust us that this is all fresh, like there is no delay or manual labor involved in this. It has taken us a long time to build, but I reckon it was well worth it. So jump in and download MTG Assistant today and try this new cool feature out. This is all available in version 1.86 and 7. If your assistant is out of date, you can close the MTG Arena game and then open the desktop app and you will get a little flag down in the version and a little button where you can update manually. Pushing this update to all over the world takes some time, but you can override this by using this manual method. So you can get, a, get the latest and greatest as quickly as possible. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.